India has always wanted to build its own jet engines for aircraft like the Tejas and the future Anka fighter. Some countries, like China, have copied and modified foreign engines, such as the Russian AL-31F, but India has not followed that path. This isn't because of a lack of talent, it's because reverse engineering a jet engine is extremely complex and full of technical, legal, financial, and political risks. Let's look at the main reasons. 1. Technical Challenges Jet engines are among the most complicated machines ever made. They require advanced knowledge of aerodynamics, material science, and precision manufacturing. Reverse engineering is not just about taking an engine apart. You also need to understand its hidden design processes, tolerances, and the special materials used to make it reliable at very high temperatures. Materials and Technology Gaps Modern jet engines work at over 1,500 degrees Celsius using special single crystal turbine blades and super alloys. India has made good progress in this area through DRDO's DMRL, but large-scale production with consistent quality is still a big challenge. Simply copying an engine, like the GE F414, will not help unless these materials can also be made locally. Lessons from the Kaveri program The Kaveri engine, started in 1986, was India's first big step towards self-reliance. It aimed for 80 to 100 kN thrust, but achieved only about 49 kN and had problems with weight and afterburner performance. Even with some help from Francis Safran, it failed to meet fighter requirements and was removed from the Tejas program in 2008. This shows how hard engine design is, even more so when trying to copy a foreign one. Limited testing facilities. Engines need thousands of test hours in wind tunnels and high altitude labs. India's test facilities are improving, but still limited. That's why India plans to test the Kaveri in Russia in 2025. So far, only a few countries, the US, UK, France, Russia, and China, have fully mastered jet engine technology after decades of work. Legal and Intellectual Property Issues Reverse engineering a foreign engine would violate international intellectual property laws. India's defense policy focuses on partnerships and co-development, not copying. IP Violations If India copied engines from GE, Safran, or Rolls-Royce, these companies might stop working with India in the future. Sanctions risk. After India's 1998 nuclear tests, sanctions delayed access to engine parts. Copying engines today could again bring restrictions, especially from the US, which supplies most of India's fighter engines. Instead, India prefers legal technology transfer deals like the 2023 HALGEF 414 agreement, which includes about 80% technology transfer, though the most secret parts remain with GE. Economic factors. Reverse engineering is not cheap. In fact, it can cost as much as developing a new engine. The Kaveri project has already spent over 2,800 Indian rupees crore, dollar 340 million, in 35 years and still isn't complete. By comparison, companies like GE invest three to four times more in similar projects every year. Copying a modern engine would still require years of testing, tooling, and re-engineering, adding billions more in cost. That's why India now focuses on joint ventures, like the HALGE project, to build local capacity step by step. For geopolitical and strategic concerns, India values its relationships with multiple countries and prefers joint development over copying. Avoiding tension, 
China's copying of Russian engines damaged its ties with Moscow. India avoids such issues by sticking to official agreements. Global reputation. India wants to be seen as a responsible and trustworthy partner, not one that uses stolen technology. This approach helps attract offers, like France's 1 billion euro proposal in 2016 to help revive the Kaveri program. Current progress and future plans. India is moving forward in other ways. The Kaveri Dry version, 52 kN, is now being developed for UAV like Guttuck. AMCA MK1 will use the GEF 414 engine, 98 kN, made in India. AMCA MK2 will use a new 110 to 120 kN engine co developed with Safran, deal announced in August 2025. Private firms like DG Propulsion are also working on smaller indigenous jet engines. Russia and China are currently the only countries capable of building jet engines, entirely with domestic resources. They produce advanced fighter jets and commercial aircraft engines independently, without relying on foreign technology or facing intellectual property restrictions. This allows them to sell their aircraft freely to any country in the world without limitations. In contrast, most engines from GE and Safran are developed in the US and Europe, respectively. As a result, any use, export, or licensing of these engines by other countries requires approval from their home governments due to intellectual property rights and export regulations. Conclusion Reverse engineering foreign jet engines is not a realistic option for India. The task is too complex, expensive, and risky for India's global image and partnerships. Instead, India's current path, co-developing and locally manufacturing engines with global partners, is a smarter and sustainable way forward. If progress continues, India could have a fully indigenous fighter jet engine by 2035 to 2040 fulfilling its at Minerva Bharat vision in aerospace technology. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section.